counter pick. You love to see it. And the match starts. This should be a fun one. Greninja versus DDD. Pretty slow start for these two, but DDD gets things started back for us. Playing a pretty neutral game. Those Gordos have so much impact. Playing very careful with each of these players. They know that the punish game is strong with each of them. Careful not to make any mistakes. Safe game continues it. Pretty even these two. Oh, but the up smash from DDD takes the first stock. Theo plays a mean DDD, as we know all too well here. But Thomas's Greninja doesn't lag too far behind. So from disadvantage into advantage by Thomas there. But he resets to neutral. Back in center stage, a lot of air game. takes that stock. Even stocks, but could not be more stratified in terms of percent. Oh, but Thomas gets going on a combo, drops it after 22%. A very oppressive advantage no. for Thomas, but he loves the up B and SDs. You hate to see it, folks. Looks like the music counter pick is not doing Thomas too well here, but he perseveres, just trying to eke out what percent he can. Playing a very careful game until the opportunity strikes. He knows that DDD combos are nothing to mess with. Oh, but the up smash? Oh, and Theo's lash flashes before his eyes. Oh, and the, the Gordo Snipe takes the set. An impressive game for him, for sure. Hey, this is round three, right, you guys? Yeah. Sweet. Round three, this is going to be And the music counter pick, of course, must happen every game. And the persona pick, pretty pretty popular for uh, FD. And we see the, the players pick the same characters as last time. They're comfy with it. They know. We'll see if this game ends up quite the same as the last one. The FD pick is to be expected, and the game starts out pretty slowly, like the first one did. Ooh, DDD combos at a clean 52% out of Thomas here. We'll see what, how far he can take it. Got some quick ledge games. Oh, but of course DDD makes it back. One doesn't he? But 
just like that, it's an even game. Playing center stage, you see. Oh, and a shadow sneak. How did that fire? Rapid jab just barely kills off the top of the FC. You don't see that every day. Oh, and almost the stock back, but not quite. And Thomas keeps playing his aerial game. Just trying to finish off Theo's last stock here. We'll see how far Theo can take this first stock. Playing very safe ledge games. He knows he can't take too many risks here. But he finally takes back center stage just before getting popped into an F air and losing his first stock. Stocks are even close games so far. Oh, Thomas gets comboing but drops it. Oh. DDD suck we see we've seen a lot here. To to great effect. As DDD tries to land, finally does it. But Thomas keeps him on the edge of his seat. This game is nothing to sneeze at as these two are playing their hearts out. Oh, and the shadow sneak kicks the Gordo away. A drag down up air into the jab lock we see out of Thomas there. Oh, and he finally commutes it into the kill off the fair. Our spot up smash on that ledge just barely takes Thomas's stock. It's moments like those that show you just how light Greninja is and just how big DD's hammer is. And the game stays even. These two just. No one can take the lead here. Oh, but Thomas is certainly trying. Those combos take DDD up to 81% swiftly. These two are mean, lean fighting machines here. And Theo just struggles to keep up. Oh, you love those mix-ups from Thomas. And oh, the shadow sneak. The chase to smash you. That was quite the, the end to that game. And it's 1-1. One, one. Picks and bands come out. No music counter pick this time. We'll see how that affects these two players here. Swift character picks these two know what they they know what they want. They know what they're good at. We do see a change in skin though. He was playing purple DDD now. We'll see we'll see what that does. And Thomas can't help but start the game with a quick 36% combo. We'll see how far that takes him. Theo does his best to uh, counter it, but wow, those Gordos just do so much. <laughs> Even the hammer coming out here. Without a projectile reflection, Greninja can really struggle from those Gordos, but Thomas seems to have no such problems. They're playing pretty far back, but Thomas just loves those fair combos. And the up air takes the first. Oh, never mind. Thomas DI is like a god to escape that first death. Even throwing out that counter. He <laughs> does his best to edge guard with up B, but. 
the up tilt from Theo takes the first dog. Wow. The TDD suck throws back the water shuriken, transforming into a clean combo that takes Thomas almost to death percent. Yes, it is worth noting that Thomas does have broken fingers right now. He, he claims it has no effect on his performance, but we'll see what he thinks after the game. And Theo takes almost an entire stock lead here. As <laughs> Thomas edge guards with the footstool. <laughs> But the Gordo snipe takes the stock. Theo's now sitting two stocks ahead. And Thomas is struggling to get that first kill. take it. Thomas is great with those mix-ups. Never throw in the same direction twice. Oh, and Thomas finally takes his first stock while simultaneously getting edgeguarded. And he does his best to do what he can with the start of DDD's second stock. He takes it pretty far, taking DDD to 58%, but the back throw almost kills him, almost ending the game. And the unlucky okay. jump from ledge ends the game. Some intense picking and banning. The most riveting part of the set, for sure. And the music counterpick <laughs> comes back. We love to see the banter between these two. Of course, they've played many, many times. They're good friends, which I think makes the competition that much more exciting. And did these back? He was back with the green skin. <laughs> he expresses that he should have stuck with the purple skin as it served him well last game, but we'll see how much effect it really has here going into game four. Game starts pretty even with with Theo taking a slight lead with those Gordo combos. And it's mostly ground game this time around. <coughs> it's obvious these two have figured each other out at this point in the set. We'll see how it serves them. I was going for, for some mix-ups on the ledge. And oh, oh did no! he need them? His first stock is in grave danger, as we just saw there. And uh, we'll see how, how long he can keep it. And the Gordo and Down Smash take the stock. Leo takes a swift early lead to this game. Game 4. And by the looks of it, he has nothing on his mind but extending that lead. I'm just having a lot more trouble this game with those Gordos. The platforms, I'm sure, aren't helping him out. And 
poor Thomas loses his second stock already, but doesn't let Theo take a breath, taking his first stock. It's now a two stock to one lead for Theo. And the games are closer than ever. Are you heading out? Yeah, probably. Okay, it looks like your monitor's being used, so I'll just pop this into your room. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Thomas does his best to tight to close the gap here, but Theo won't give him an inch. No. And the Gordo on the ledge proves to be difficult for Thomas to get around. Finally, getting back on stage, and the shadow sneak. Ever the mix-up, but neither of these two can seem to best the other. Playing very close games, trying to keep center stage. Oh, and <laughs> they each try and make us up each other's recoveries, but oh, the back air takes the game and the set. Hard fought and hard won by Theo here. <laughs>